Well, hello, comrades. Commissar Bro here for a... Th what is it? Second? Third? It's, I think the third helping of the rise of Djibouti. That is correct. We're back for a third foray into the world of the geopolitical simulator that is Superpower 2. And as you can see, Djibouti is not liked. Not liked one bit. But, Djibouti is doing very well for uh, itself, you could say. But, things aren't all good and dandy in the now larger country of Djibouti. Although we have conquered previously Somalia and Eritrea, we are... Well, I don't really know. I mean, things are alright here, I guess, but we're not, like, rich, and we don't have too many good things going for us, but we have begun construction on our amusement parks, as was previously mentioned in the previous episodes. But basically, let me be serious for a moment. The situation this fledgling nation is facing is um, an inability to grow. As you can see, I'm not producing, like, any resources. So, yeah. It is literally on my peeps to pull this off. And I really didn't want to have to raise taxes again. But it's looking like I'm not having much choice. We are absolutely, positively broke. There's no tourism. It's not going to work because stability is not high enough. Corruption is not low enough. And these are all problems that unfortunately are going to take some serious time to fix. I mean, just like healthcare and education and greater Djibouti. Djibouti. Now, I'm sorry, Djibouti. I keep. No, it's not Djibouti. Sorry, sorry, comrades. It's Djibouti. Djibouti. Jabuti, Jabuti, Jabuti. Remember, I said it like last time. I would just keep saying Jabuti, but it's that D, man. That D fucking throws me off every time. Anyway, the important part is we have to find a way to increase the amount of money we're making because we are consuming way more than we're producing, and that's a really, 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 really bad thing, especially when you consider that. More than half of my income is coming off of other countries. So, we're going to just have to figure this out. I'm thinking I'm going to have to just cut foreign aid to other countries almost all together. Because, look at that. I mean, I'm throwing away $1.4 billion to the world every year. And um, countries like China still hate my guts. But, thankfully for me, China has been like practically wiped out by the United States because they went to war with them for some reason and you know for s somehow the Chinese Navy retreated to this little bay in the uh, s like southeastern part of Iran like right between you know Kuwait and all them and the United States fleet is systematically wiping out this last stand of the Chinese Navy this is good news for me because that means if I go to war with one of my neighbors, I won't have to worry so much. But, something else is developing. In Ethiopia, for example, they have a massive army of 628,000 infantry alone. It's ridiculous. I've got 344 tanks and like 5,000 soldiers. So, I don't think it's likely that... I'm going to be able to take them over. So, I am looking around for better targets. Which, really, the best target in the area is Saudi Arabia. Why Saudi Arabia, you ask? Well, Saudi Arabia has lots of resources. And they're also, they, they have a gigantic chunk of the oil market. See, look at that. They own 9% of it. Let's pray. Let's pray Djibouti can come. Djibouti! F Shut up, Commissar. Shut up. It's Djibouti. Jabuti, Jabuti, Jabuti. Okay. Anyway, hopefully we're gonna be okay. Let's find out. All right. So, in a desperate bid 
to basically make a jump on Saudi Arabia. I have decided to buy as much stuff off the black market as I can and plunge my country into probably inevitable debt. So, I am relying and hoping that this works. If it doesn't, boy, if it doesn't, Djibouti may not get the theme parks it so desires. The people of Djibouti demand it! So hopefully, it'll happen. Uh, fight aircraft. Yeah, that's right. I want a fish bed. How about a flogger? Yeah, that's right. Oh, an F4 Phantom. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Fighting Falcon. More floggers. More fish beds. Blah, blah, blah. Mirage. Alright, good. I still have money. Alright. Now we have to design a destroyer. It will literally be the weakest destroyer in all of history. And we shall call it the Djibouti. Wait. Yes. Uh, Djibouti Pride. Okay. The Djibouti Pride. Shit. I can't make it. I literally need, like, one dot. By the way, let me slow this down real quick. The world is absolutely at war. Like, I mean, China has pissed everybody off and nuked Zambia. I don't really know why they nuked Zambia, but they nuked Zambia as if Zambia deserved it. The United States absolutely hates Saudi Arabia. So this is a good thing for us. Very good thing. Because that means we can just walk right across the border and take them over without any, you know, one the wiser. Well, um, not so much like, you know, walking across the water, because there's, there's clearly like a gigantic body of water between us, but, you know, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna swim across. The Djiboutians shall swim! We don't need destroyers, damn it! Alright, so, war has been declared on the country of Saudi Arabia. Problem is, looks like a lot of people like Saudi Arabia. So, our only hope is that using the ninth most powerful military force in the world, Djibouti will be successful. Really think about that for a second. Djibouti, the ninth most powerful military in the world. <laughs> it's just completely nonsensical. Alright, the Djiboutian forces have made landfall. Now, we pray. Or at least, they'll be praying after we run them over with all of our tanks! <laughs> Rise of Jesus! I am never gonna get that right! <sighs> oh, I'm nervous. If I lose this war, this could be the end of Djibouti. But, we must have faith in the Djiboutian military might! Craziness. Uh oh. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, yes, we're dominating. Lost all of our fighter aircraft, but we're dominating. We just destroyed the forces of Kuwait, Oman, and whoever the hell, I think Azerbaijan or whatever. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who they are. They all bleed the same. Uh oh. This could be a problem. Oh, wait. Not with the mighty tank forces of Djibouti, it's not! It never is. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna build such a big amusement park in Saudi Arabia. Call it Sandland. You can have you a nice cup of sand. Have one of those nice little, those little umbrellas in it. It looks like Italy took over China. Who would have thought? Look at that. Seems like a bad idea. Hopefully they don't annex them. Alright. So we gave it about a year or so. And now we are annexing Saudi Arabia. I hope this digs me out of this deep ditch that I am currently in. Or about to be in. 
Oh no! No! They came marching over the border! I hope they didn't take it back. No, they did not. Who is this? Get your crap out of here! The Djiboutian tanks will not take your movements on our threshold or whatever! Die! That was Oman. That's who it was, Oman. Oh, they actually killed a lot of stuff. Oh, that's worrisome. Ah, at last! Saudi Arabia has been conquered by Djibouti! That's right, now let's bring down this tax rate. Because now, Saudi Arabia was making so much money. Look at that! Look, that is ridiculous! Oh my god! These dudes are freaking loaded! Apparently the Saudis just... <laughs> They weren't running their country correctly. Oh god. Uh, I didn't mean to fix that. That's not good. I think I made it exploded. There we go. Alright, that's that's more reasonable. Yes! Djibouti is rich! The world hates us now, but damn it, we are rich! We've hit the big time, fellas! Alright! Let's get healthcare up. And environment up. Let's start caring about things. What's stability at? Yeah, let's raise these MFs. Yes, that is right. Djibouti, baby. We're gonna turn this into the greatest hot spot in the world. Oh, that's where all my money's coming from is taxes. Jesus. All right, well we'll still bring it down. Let's bring it down like five percent and eight percent, whatever. All right. Bask in the glory, my people. Bask. We are rich. This is something we're not used to. Yeah, so corruption should drop down to zero. Stability should go up to far more manageable levels. And everybody in Djibouti can now be that much happier to live as a Djiboutian. Yes, the, the great Djiboutian race. Oh, this is just dandy. I'm excited. Let's look at this. All right. We tripled our population. Our economic health is like through the roof right now. It's like not through the roof, but it's pretty good. You know, look at where we came from. Take pride in this. This is great. And we have some leftover money where we can actually start playing around with the market a bit. So that's what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna start increasing our production of various materials to help us make some more money and to at least meet our consumption because if we meet our consumption then we can start increasing it over consumption and start like basically trading our stuff off to other people give them our crap but on that note I think I'll go ahead and end the video here we're at a good place Jeez, Djibouti, Djibouti this is a great day for Djiboutians everywhere for they exist everywhere and not all knowing, know everything. And we're gonna find out, man. We are gonna find out just what we can do with Djibouti. Oh, terrorism. Oh, oh, that's a great way to end this. We were the target of a covert action by Thailand, a failed terrorist act. All right, well, that might just be who we go deal with next time. Andre Mosey.